Hi, Dr. Morton here. I uh, wanted to talk to you about goals, objectives, and timelines. So before we start talking about goals, objectives, and timelines, let's recap week one. So I'm going to just discuss a few items that you should have learned during week one. And if you didn't learn those things in week one, then I guess this video is very timely, huh? Um, so if you will just Bear with me, we'll go through the priorities uh, I wanna talk about and then you can be on with your day. Thanks. So if you wanna be successful writing a grant, you need, to, you need to clearly understand your organization, your organizational goals, and how grants can help you accomplish goals when funds are tight or just non-existent. Um, budgeting constraints are a real issue in my state. So uh, government organizations are constantly trying to find ways that they can um, realize important projects while um, still staying within their state appropriated funds. So uh, it's very important to understand how your organization and its goals align with the specific funders that also have the same interests or goals that, that your organization does. So you also need to know what um, the problem or the need is and your grant project has to clearly show the, how it's going to address that problem or that need. You need to build relationships with established funders that are aligned with your interests and you can do that a number of ways. Um, you could do it at a national conference, for instance, there are several um, national conferences on aging, and my organization uh, currently has active grants associated with um, issues with aging like self-neglect or um, providing respite care for those family members that uh, take care of an elderly adult. Um, so you can you can network at a conference. You can use social media. You can find uh, Facebook groups that are uh, aligned with your interest and network that way. If you find a specific grant opportunity that you're interested in, reach out to the program officer or the um, the grant manager for that particular grant and try to establish a relationship that way. You need to let your funders know how you can help um, address the issues that they're interested in. Also, we may not have really touched on this last week, but it is so important to write a winning proposal. And that means following the uh, grant proposal criteria to the letter. With federal fun funded grants, discretionary grants, they are very detailed when they an, uh, make an announcement and it will tell you i want this to be double spaced times uh, new roman font size 12. but they'll also say you need to address your goals your objectives your um, activities that you're going to have in the grant the background for the needs and how you are an expert in that field. There's so many things that they will clearly tell you that you need to address in your grant narrative. So follow that to the letter, just like you would if you were um, completing a class assignment. You're wanting to, to follow the rubric to the letter so you get the best grade that you possibly can. Uh, take that approach when you're writing a grant. Um, you can also look around and try to find abstracts or grant narratives or grant proposals that have been funded and use those to kind of guide um, your approach when you're writing a grant. So let's talk about grant goals. What's a grant goal? A uh, grant goal are the things you want to achieve during the grant project. Uh, grant goals are those major priorities in your project and the, the grant goal is just this broad statement or statements that, uh, that you want to address during the project. Remember, it should be clearly aligned with your need statement. So it's also important to develop grant goals that are measurable because funders want to know that you use their money wisely and so they may want to see um, an evaluation of the project to make sure that you realize goals. So what are grant objectives? So grant objectives are how you're gonna achieve grant goals. 
Um, they're associated with activities that you're completing during the grant project. Um, grant goals are, or excuse me, grant objectives are more detailed than grant goals, but they should also clearly align with the needs statement or the uh, problem statement in your grant narrative. Um, and by the way, a grant narrative is just what you're writing. That's what you're going to be working on for this, uh, for this class is a grant narrative. It's your grant project. Uh, but in the grant writer's terms, we call them a grant narrative. Um, and I'll go back over that in a little more detail in another video later, later in the class. So, um, along with grant goals and grant objectives, a lot of grant opportunities are going to ask you to um, provide expected outcomes and products associated with your grant project. And an outcome might be um, improving the um, reading level for the fifth grade in your, in your specific school system. Um, anyway, those are the outcomes. Products could be, for instance, for a product in a, in a re recent grant that I was involved with was developing a, an electronic case management system. So that's a product of the grant. And the grant was written specifically to get funds to develop that system. Okay, so what is a timeline? A grant timeline is a list or a table of grant activities and when they'll be completed. So many grant opportunities that you run across are going to ask for a work plan or a timeline. The grant, the grantee just wants to know that you have a strong idea of what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you have a time frame for for completing tasks and so it's important that your work plan and your timeline be realistic because the grantee want the grantor excuse me the grantor wants to know that um, you are able to actually realize your grant goals during the time frame frame that the grant is open and a lot of grants are time specific that I mean that they'll be open from perhaps September the 1st, 2019 through um, August, the end of August, 2022. So during that time frame, you have to complete all of your grant goals and objectives. Um, and if you don't, sometimes you can ask for an extension, but you need to have a realistic time timeline so that the grantor feels like you can really um, address the, the issue during that time frame and that your grant proposal is well thought out and that you can address all the, that you're not being overconfident on what you can address during the, the grant period. So um, make sure that your grant it, timeline is realistic and that you've thought through all of the activities that you're going to need to complete during the grant project. So um, here, that's just an update of grant goals, objectives, timelines, and a kind of a recap of week one. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to me. And I'm uh, sorry if perhaps I was flippant as I provided my um, narrative and told you, told you about grant goals, objectives, and timelines. But um, perhaps that's a way for you to learn my personality. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the classroom. Bye.